Love on, love, articulate and cute Kinda quintessential, unique and elegant too Everything that I need Baby, you are a queen a mess right now I'm looking so busted but we're gonna go ahead and fix that within this video so today's video is all about really just getting your hair back to where it needs to be if you've dealt with any type of damage like I have I am collabing with Curl Smith once again I actually love their products so I'm going to be doing a video using their products but before we go ahead and get into that I want to do a little story time because I really never really talked about this like I should put my hair in a ponytail y'all I feel like I'm just looking so raggedy back when I started being on my natural hair journey maybe about like it was like around 2013 I wasn't really comfortable and confident in wearing my hair so I would wear a weave I think I had like a little afro I think it was like that big or whatever but I just was not feeling it I just felt I didn't feel cute, okay? I'm gonna just go ahead and be real, which I didn't really like. I had got a sew-in in my hair, so I just braided my hair down or whatever. And then I just, you know how you just get a sew-in and then you wanna like have a leave out. So I had a leave out in my hair, but one thing that I did wrong was I would flat iron that leave out so it could actually blend in with my weave, which was a mistake. You do not wanna do that, okay? So I did that and I and I even had like my hair was wet and I would fry it and just kept straightening and straightening and straightening. See I didn't really know too much back then. Uh, you know I wasn't really educated when it came down to natural hair. I was just really just starting off and at that time I wasn't watching YouTube videos. I didn't know nothing y'all. When it was time to take out my sewing, oh my god. I was like oh no. So I washed my hair and my curls, my curls was not coming back up here, y'all. It was flat, it was straight, like it was doing nothing. I tried blending in my curls, so what I would do again, which was a mistake, I would like get like a little bit of curl around it and try to like curl it or whatever to blend in. And then sometimes I did a twist out just because it was like this. Let me show y'all. It was like this much that I actually had that was flat ironed. I did discover a like protein treatment and then and that's when I was kind of googling and, and I think I discovered YouTube at that time as well when it came down to me really trying to figure out what the heck did I do wrong. I did Google, I did YouTube and everything like that. I you know looked up information so I heard about protein treatment so you know just different things to help revert your curls back. And gradually I did start to see like a little wave in my hair but okay so it seemed like it was doing something okay. So the protein treatment really was doing good for me um even though my hair was still more on the straighter side that whole different texture i found that doing that implementing that in my uh routine was working for me it's okay if you do have a setback because hair do grow you will end up getting right back on track now i'm letting you know if you are newly natural please don't do what i did okay that is my curl fashion because that's what we're all about today we're professing our you know our journeys you know our natural hair journeys you know i have actually a whole lot of more stories that i probably will tell in the future but yeah that's just one of them that i really felt like i wanted to tell y'all but again this video is all about me collaborating with curl smith these are all of the products right here and i got this right here and i'm gonna just show y'all all the products as i go let's go ahead and get in the shower because uh yeah, let's fix ourselves because I look crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and go. So lately I've been manipulating my hair a lot and I just feel like I really need to strengthen my hair. So I am going to just wet my hair first and then apply the Bond Curl Rehab Salve in my hair. I like that I'm able to actually pour this in my hand so I can control the amount that I actually have. So I am just applying it all on my hair. So this is an intense pre-shampoo bond building treatment which is rich in proteins that help strengthen and repair your hair from the inside out. I'm sure if this was out back when I actually needed it but I sure needed it back in 2013 because this is definitely the truth so I'm here rinsing it out I left it in for actually 15 minutes and this is how my hair look after I apply that all on my hair I'm going to be following up using the core strength shampoo so this whole entire line is the strength recipe which is amazing it's supposed to give you a lot of strength in your hair and I am here for it y'all so this is a gentle cleanser that helps get rid of dirt and build up as well without stripping your hair of its natural moisture. So as you see as I rinse out the shampoo, my curls are really there. I can feel the moisture in my hair but also I do feel the strength as I go along. Now I will be applying the multitasking conditioner in my hair. So it is 3 in 1 which contains a leave in, a rinse out or a deep condition. So you can actually choose which one you want to do. So I chose to use this as a deep condition just to give me that extra condition in my hair. 
After I rinse it out, my hair feels so moisturized and also hydrated. I am definitely in love with this line as well, y'all. It is so amazing. So, like, I'm holding my hands here and look at the curl pattern, y'all. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and move on to using their bonding oil, which is weightless oil blend that also targets your hair bonds to seal your cuticles. So, you can use this as a sealing oil, which I am doing here. Today I will be doing a twist out and to do so I will be using their Bouncy Strength Volume Foam which is weightless and it also provides a light hold and volume while enhancing your natural hair texture. So I'm just going to do a regular two strand twist. I'm not going to add any rise at the end. I'm just going to, when I get to the end, just use my fingers to twirl it. And that's really how I'm going to go about my twist out today. To move quicker, I just section my hair off in four sections. And so the first thing I like to do is start off with my back first. And then I just move on my way up to the front. And I use my tangle teaser to take out any tangles. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is like really my normal routine. I love twist outs. This is like my go-to because it's so easy to do. And the results always come out bomb. Having failed hairstyles and failed processes in my natural hair journey has definitely helped me with my twist out game and different other hairstyles. So this is how my hair looked with it all twisted up. So I did end up sitting under the hooded dryer for about two hours and also slept in it overnight. My twist out came out so cute y'all so if you like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know your hair story as well in the comment box below if you're interested in these products go ahead and check out my description box and they will have a link so you can go ahead and click on it and i hope you guys enjoyed this video love y'all bye